So, um, I just really quick wanted to come and show you my coily, curly, beautiful hair. I um, can't lie, it's been difficult. As you guys know, I have been natural for two years, but I have always kept my hair um, in a sew-in weave for those two years. So I would go in, I would get my uh, sew-in taken out, and then have it reinstalled, <clears throat> excuse me, and have it reinstalled right away. So I would be in the shop for like eight, nine hours, but um, it was well worth it because now I have all this beautiful natural hair <clears throat> and I'm in a position where I can actually take the time to um, care for it properly, not be ripping and running through my hair and also make sure that I have the right products. So as you can see, I kind of have two different crazy things going on. I have this side of my hair. Um, which I am actually liking and enjoying. I feel like my curl pattern is a lot looser on this side of my hair than this side of my hair. Last night I did a braid out um, as I'm still just trying to try out different things that I've seen on YouTube or on different uh, blogs and forums um, that I've been trying to research and just follow through with. And uh, what I've noticed is that um, hair typing um, can be a bit difficult because as you can see like back here it's like I have a 3C and that kind of comes up through here I don't know if you can see so it gets looser back there um, and then in the front it comes to almost like a 4A, 4B. And um, on this side, <laughs> it's like 4B all over, you know? And so I have been toying with the idea of doing some heat training. I'm really, really, really scared about putting in more heat in me putting any more heat in my hair because you guys know that I have a little bit of heat damage in the front from when I had my leave out with all of my leaves. So um, I'm really skeptical about that, but I'm thinking that if I, if I were to do it, it would be just so I can even out my hair. This is insane. Like I, people will look at me crazy if I go out like this and this side is, you know, less shrinkage or you could see my curl pattern more um see heat damage this is why this is why sorry <laughs> had a moment um and then this side is just you know super natural coily gorgeousness you know i'm there's an i know that there are a lot of people out there who may not agree with me, but I need to learn how to embrace my own personal hair because this is my own personal journey. And that's all I'm saying, y'all. So the two products that I did use and the product that I love, love, love is the um, Cantu Shea Butter. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have hit liquid gold here. Um, not only is it strengthening and it does promote growth and it is a shea butter, um, but it also can be used as a leave-in conditioner and it also protects from heat damage <clears throat> and right now that is who what I am battling is this heat um, <clears throat> I did I'll, I'll link a picture or shows you, sorry y'all, it's early, um, that shows you um, my hair kind of blown out and that's probably how I will end up wearing it to work until I can figure out how to properly manage all this curliness without damaging it or um, seeing breakage. So I do love that product. It works for my hair. Next is the Eco Styler. It's the Argan. I love everything with Argan oil in it. So um, I do, do, do like this product. However, the Argan is on this side of my hair. The Cantu is on this side of my hair. 
So I don't know if you can see a difference at all. It may look the same. It just may be my curl pattern that is causing less shrink shrinkage on the side than on this side. But um, every day I learn how to embrace shrinkage. Yes, my friends. <laughs> all right, ladies, that's all for today. Um, I'm going to go and play with this a little bit more and see if I can find something great to a great way to style it and then be off the door for the day. So I'll see you later. Bye.